happy weekend. I'm uber casual today. Um, so you don't usually see this side of the room. Well, it's been a while since you've been in the room. That's my bag storage up there. And then that's all of my perfume. And these are just jewelry and everything else. Clothes, SLGs, that, you know, that kind of stuff. Just all the, all the, the clutter that I try to put away. Anyway, this, today I thought I would, um, switch out of the Cassie 19 that I've been using for about a month and um, just wanted to really put it put it through its paces and I'm not I don't hate it but I don't love it either so I'm gonna put it up on the shelf I've made some space for it and find something else to switch into. I'll move the camera and kind of show you my thoughts as I get out of it, um, why I'm not exactly thrilled <laughs> with it. And um, yeah, just try to figure out what I'm going to swap into for the week and then we'll talk about whatever else. That one's on Sleep Duty, that's Dolly. Whereas Pickles is literally, where is she? Pickles. What have you been doing? She's been on hyper mode. She's been chasing Bamboo, who's like four times her size and attacking him. So she's been a little monster, right? There she goes. There she goes. There's her toy box. There's the usual area you're seeing, which is kind of messy right now. Gotta organize it. <laughs> She's scurrying back around. Anyway, there's the children. Okay, so Coach Cassie 19. There's so many straps. Um, I'm actually, I should have been covering, carrying it since beginning of end of December. And then, oh my God, it's end of February. <laughs> It's going to be March in a couple days. Holy crap. So almost two months. Oh my Lord. Time has flown. Um, so I've been carrying it for a while, a while now. Time has flown. Um, so firstly, the leather's fine. Um, that's not my gripe. Um, but little lock thing, fine. Um, I hate the straps. I, I prefer to carry all of them. Um, in the end, this little decorative one here really doesn't do it for me. So I'm going to take that off permanently and probably, um, let's see, if I can grab a, a fashion file, like one of these, throw it in there. Um, it's just going to be something I'm going to use for something else. So it's not worth using with this bag and had I done that sooner maybe I'd be less um, cranky about it so the three are it's just way too much these I don't know why um it hasn't been doing it recently as much maybe I've just been really really careful with how I grab it but for the first like two three weeks whenever I grabbed one of the straps they would, it would like, this would come off. So, um, I don't know if I just had these, um, latched incorrectly, but something would happen that one of these dog leash things would, um, one of these dog leash things would come loose and the bag would, thankfully I had enough of a grip that the bag wouldn't go flying, but it would feel like the bag would have gone flying. So thankfully it never, um, you know, flew off and, and off my body or anything like that. But that was just really annoying for the first few weeks. So thankfully that's been doing it less. And then the other thing that just really irritates me and I have, I'm actually filming on an old phone right now because I wanted to show you what it looks like as I carry it. So um, if I have my actual phone in there, which is my Pro Max 
phone. It has to go in here. Um, it could technically go in the front, but I just found that it was very tight and I don't know why it just didn't seem to close right. So I felt it had to go in the center here. And if it was in there, then I had to keep my keys back here or I'd have to do the opposite where I'd have to do, take my phone out, put the keys in and put the phone back here. And my phone does not, I mean, it, it literally just has to stand up back there. So, um, I mean, that's fine if I'm going to, if I need to grab it all the time, but the not being able to put my phone, it does not fit, um, back there at all. That was just kind of annoying. So if I was somewhere where I had to grab it constantly, um, that made sense, but Grant, I, I know I have a big ass phone, so it's, it's, it's just kind of what it is. So I have to pick one or the other, what goes in, um, again, it can go in here. It's, it, it literally barely fits when it goes in, it stretches it out slightly. It just kind of gave me the heebie jeep and it's hard to get out <laughs> because of the case I have. This is a kind of a rubberized um, edge, but so that pocket's not so doable. Um, definitely same thing back here, way too tight. So it has to be this front pocket or middle pocket here, which was kind of annoying. Um, and then that left me with being able to only put, and I'm carrying um, my little Bay um, Howl's Moving Castle um, card case as my wallet. And then I have um, toiletry, I forget the size, this Epi one, um, as my catch-all. And then I have a Coach Mini Skinny as my like, cash and um, coins back in the back here. And that just felt like all I felt comfortable carrying in there because as I have carried, I got, you know, the loose receipts here and there. Um, do I have another one back there? No, that's just this weird, you know, I do. So random receipts. So as I start to, you know, fill it with crap, I, that's about all I felt I could get in there. So I have, again, this epi piece and the mini skinny and then my junk. <laughs> so I'll put that forward. So this, this is about what I could fit at any given moment. So my six key, mini skinny, the Louis Bay, the phone, and um, that's it. And that, that is really like, that is like minimalism for me. I'm used to carrying huge ass bags. Like my never full is literally still packed full. Let's see if I can just do this real quick. So this is my work bag down here. The never full is still hanging and it still has all of its crap inside. Can I get in there? I'll just pull it out. So I, I literally live like this all the time where I carry all of my my crap in my bag. Hi, pickles. You want to go work with mama? So that's like, I leave that packed all the time because it's everything I need for work. So that, that's kind of how I would live my life with my purse <laughs> in general. So I would like want to just grab this insert here and move it into another bag and be happy. So this, this is really minimalism at its finest. So that's, not bad. It's just that, um, I had gotten this mindset that if I was going to have a minimalist kind of bag like that, I was going to do that more with a, and you heard me walk away, like this concept where all of the essentials are in here and it would go into the larger bag that goes into work. I could run around with this bag and my phone and everything fits in ironically in this. Um, and I can function. So I'm like, this is significantly bigger 
the co the coach 19 cast 19 is significantly bigger than this yet i can function with this i don't understand why so anyway i've been annoyed <laughs> with this and it's not new um the annoyance let me put all of my my stuff over here because i'm going to swap out all of these items um, I had the same type of issue with, did I put her away? I did. Um, the, the Marc Jacobs bag I bought last summer at the outlet was identical, um, except for I could barely fit my phone in that one. Um, similar thing. And that one, the strap also was bothering me. So at the very least, this strap is way better. But the Marc Jacobs one I have up on the very top shelf and I am not going to touch that one again. I don't like it. Um, that one, I tried to love it and I'm just not, not loving it. So um, this one, I'll use it on occasion, but I think the original Cassie would have been the better, the better thing to purchase. And I'm just going to have to find something else that, that makes more sense. I'm going to carry the burrow bag. I have not carried this bag in probably five years. It's been just literally hanging on um, a rack. I don't even care. put it in a dust bag, which is horrible, I know, but um, I've been watching some old YouTube videos and just the resurgence of this era of bag and this the, this is back when coach was just to me a really high-end type of bag i wish i had the bigger version the giant um burrow the large um but i have these i have two i have this one and i have a bicolor no tricolor it's a gray white and then a tan handle um version a little bit of dust in there, a little bit dirty, but I just loved this little um, closure mechanism. It's just the cutest bag. So that is what we are going to move into. So I'm gonna find another catch-all out of something up here to throw these into and then um everything else should be the same so yeah that's what we're gonna move into After a whole day of running errands in the burrow, I remember why I love it so much. I think it's a great bag. It's exactly the amount of space I need. And ultimately, it's a no for the Cassie. I'm, I'm going to have to put her away and just, you know, there's, there's a time and a place. I'm sure for, um, but just comparing the two, it's like the leathers, I'm, the suppleness of this compared to this, this is a boutique bag and I, it's not the same quality that I remember 
from back in the day. So, I mean, even like the sheen of it and everything is just, it's just really different. The, the straps, I compared them a little while ago and just the suppleness to them. And granted, this is eight, this is old. This is what a 20, 13, 14, I think it was bag. I can't even remember how old it is now. Um, so many years old and this is a brand new bag and it's just, you know, worlds apart. And maybe it's just that I like the shinier hardware better. I don't like this kind of, um, I guess, antique gold, brushed gold tone. It's just not, not doing it for me. So, um, it's fine, you know, what I paid for it is fine, but I'm gonna go and look on eBay and see if I can score myself a couple of uh, other burrows, maybe a large size that I don't have and see if that works out. But ultimately, as I'm sitting here editing the video, I realized I never said goodbye, thank you, all those things that we are supposed to say. <laughs> I just say so supposed to say it, but you know, the things that we say at the end of the video. I. I'm loving the burrow. I think it is one of the best bags Coach ever made, and I, I hope that they bring it back. I think it's just one of those classic styles that should have never left the the line, and I'm sure that there's, you know, others that are kind of close, um, but I don't know. It's just something about it that's just fabulous, so um, if you don't have one or have never had one, um, I encourage you to, you know, check one out on the used market. You can still get them at relatively decent prices. Um, not, you know, obviously steals or anything, but less than 300. So you might be able to find them even cheaper than that, but in a good condition around, you know, 300 or so. I got mine, um, I want to say 2016-ish um, when I picked mine up. So they, I got them at, at decent prices back then, and the, the original prices were, you know, $800, $900 for the large. I think they were five, in the fives for the sizes I have. So, um, and I think I paid $250-ish for each one of the ones I have. So, not great deals, but they were in fine condition and I think great prices for what I paid. So, anywho, my two cents. But, um thanks for watching if you have a burrow let me know you know if you're still rocking them if you still love them if you forgot all about them when they're hanging out in your in your closet um i'm sure everyone loves the cassie i still want to try the larger one because i think that's really the only problem that this one has is it just doesn't fit my phone and it just makes me cranky to not be able to fit even most of my slgs in there so it's like that felici um card holder thing is usually my go-to wallet and what I flip around through all of my bags and that does not fit in there at all and so that was just kind of I think it started out it, when I initially got into the bag already kind of on the wrong foot so to speak without being able to use that particular um card holder just annoyed me <laughs> so I I just think I need a certain size of a bag and grant it's the phone. It's the car. It's like if it fits that size of a um, phone and card case, then that's my perfect size bag. So I just need you to know that there's a minimum size that I have to have before I'll even consider purchasing something. So don't even look at something unless it's of those dimensions. <laughs> so I just have to know, don't, don't touch it. You'll be disappointed and move on but let me know what your thoughts are comment down below are you you know buying every every cassie out there in the 19 pretty colors or are you looking for i think it's the 25 is the original size um because i am looking for them and they're not they're not coming up at all and when they do they're coming up at more than retail so it's like hmm, <laughs> hard to find so I am looking at other options as we speak. So have a great rest of your day, weekend, night, what have you, and I will see you on the next one.